There we are. We're recording. So thank you, everyone. I'll uh, just uh, get this meeting started. I appreciate everybody joining us today for um, our Ask the Doc call. And I'm certainly delighted, as always, to have Dr. Mark with us today, uh, live from Colorado. Um, for those of you that are new on this call, um, we certainly appreciate you coming on here. We um, These calls are so exciting and, and help us all to learn uh, the language to learn a little bit uh, better about how our technology works. And certainly, um, we are delighted and grateful that Dr. Mark, who is Vox Life VP of Clinical Strategies, here to join us today and go through a series of questions that, uh, that we will pose to him today as usual. And Dr. Mark, um, for those of you who are new, is, a, is just an amazing uh, man and become a great friend of mine. I'm very, very blessed. Um, to have him as part of my life, and hopefully he feels the same about me being his life. But anyways, um, we've created a great friendship over the years, and he's really a delight to, to work with, and he's got an amazing story himself uh, about how he was able to uh, bring himself back from uh, a terrible, terrible car crash and was able to nurse himself back and uh, started out on this journey uh, to disprove this technology uh, as he was introduced to, to this um, by a patient and not necessarily to disprove it, but to understand it better. And uh, that was certainly achieved. And of course he wanted to uh, meet the owner. So great to have you with us again, Dr. Mark. And uh, it's a delight to uh, have, your, have you here with us. Well, thank you for that, Terry. It's always a pleasure to reach out and inspire the Vox team. Uh, there's so many good things happening in the world right now with people needing this technology and for us to be able to step up and just not be afraid to, to share and to open our mouth at times when it might feel a little bit uncomfortable, you know? And so, you know, we're always prepared for success, I always have patches on me, I always have socks and insoles in the car. Uh, in my bag. You just never know when you're going to have an opportunity to really touch somebody's life. And, and you don't even have to be a doctor to do it. That's the craziest thing. I make a living by laying my hands on people and helping them feel better. And, you know, we can all do that with this amazing product. And so, you know, always happy to be here. Oh, great. Well, um, we've got a series of questions that we'll go through. And um, those of you that may have a question, if you could, I'm going to try and uh, type it into the chat and just be aware of your mute button. Um, try and uh, be aware that uh, we want to keep this uh, as quiet as we can. We are live on uh, our Facebook testimonials group as well and uh, give uh, Dr. Mark the opportunity to answer these questions and, and stay focused. And one of the things that maybe we should start with Dr. Mark is maybe for the, for the new viewers are on here is let's maybe just give a little explanation as to exactly how our original technology, the HPT or human performance technology, uh, how it works and, and what it does as far as um, the pattern recognition theory and so on. Sure, so, you know, much like if, um, if an ant crawled across your foot, it wouldn't take you but just a few moments to realize that, hey, there's an insect or something touching my foot. Um, and so our technology does not work by energy or electricity or light spectrums coming through this medium and creating holograms or any type of things that's just manipulating energy. We're actually tactile. So we have different products that touch your skin a certain way that stimulate proprioceptors and mechanoreceptors to basically send a signal to the brain. Now, currently, you're getting a ton of signals going through the brain. In fact, over 400 million per second are entering your brain. Now, the majority of those signals are just noise. There are certain commands that our nervous system is going back to the motherboard, which is our brain, and sending information to and from. And so we're consciously aware of about 2,000 bits of data coming through our brain per second. And so there's certain pieces of data that make it to the brainstem and make it into the brain that are not just noise, you know? So like when we first put our clothes on, 
I feel them hit my skin. I'm acknowledging that, but then it becomes just noise. And so I don't want to acknowledge those signals because they're not important anymore. And every now and then we have what's called an actionable signal that it might be a lion roaring in the, in the room next door or a dog that's barking that sounds very ferocious. But regardless, certain signals are actionable signals. So these are signals that become important to the brainstem immediately. Like, oh, that's an important one. What is it saying? And then it decodes it. And then it'll imprint it back into the nervous system to take action. So in the event of a, of a dog that's uh, barking, possibly in my house, that's not my dog. Yeah, the action is going to be go run for your life or fight for your life. That's a fight or flight uh, scenario where that's an actionable signal okay and so think of vox as a very intelligent code that is an actionable signal as soon as this touches your body those signals then and the way it's touching you is sent to the brain and it becomes an actionable signal and what your brain realizes it's a really important signal and when it filters it back into the nervous system the net result is our brainstem opens up and functions close to 40% more efficiently than without the tech touching us. So that's remarkable. If you have an extreme healthcare or health condition affecting your nervous system, these are the people that are gonna see the difference immediately. It takes only seven seconds to have the full effect in your brain when we're knocking on the front door to the brain and the brainstem. So in layman's terms, we have products that you can wear that help enhance the way that your brain receives and sends information to the tune that that's going to make you eight times less likely to fall down because it just so happens brainstem is our balance and stability part of our neurology. So enhancing the brainstem is doing a whole bunch of things, but most certainly affecting our balance and stability. And that's why each of you have been able to do a balance test on somebody and elicit a response that may not be as favorable when you don't have the tech on <laughs> because you're basically gonna lose balance and fall over a little bit easier. So we, meaning Vox Life, have five different technologies that all do something different to enhance our neurology and enhance our brain. The number one, is HPT, which stands for Human Performance Technology. And that's by far the most important one. We have over 5 million people that receive the benefits of this technology daily. And on our Facebook site, as many of you are watching from this site, we have over 50,000 videos of people with different health issues that put the tech on and can experience a difference almost immediately. And you can search different conditions on that site and they'll populate to the top to help you really grasp and learn that a little bit more. We also have a sleeve that's for cognition. This is called eSmarter. And this sleeve is gonna target just the cognitive centers of your brain, your front and back of the brain. And this is what's gonna help us be more mindful. So we have a faster, call speed, accuracy, decision-making, all e-smarter sleeve. Now, this was originally designed to help people that had attention and focus issues so that they could focus without medication. And then we found out that, hey, you didn't have to have attention issues. You could just be an athlete. And putting this on is going to help you get into your zone better and stay there. We also can put it on musicians and they can get right in the zone of playing their instrument faster, better, more efficiently and longer before they fatigue. And then, of course, gamers pick it up and it just went viral worldwide because they're faster and they're, they're able to pass levels they've never been able to, to pass before and actually play better. And so it really is mindfulness made easy, learn, play, create. And so whenever it is that you're needing extra cognition to be more mindful and maybe study something and retain it the first time through or learn an instrument and be able to learn faster or be able to 
you know, play a game and be better at it. You know, whatever it is that you're needing this for, some people just wear it when they're driving because I want to have better reflexes and I want to have less road rage or get upset <laughs> when we get stuck in traffic and things like that. So it really is a product that's mindfulness made easy. And so that is used as needed. The HPT product that I mentioned first, that is 24 seven. And I have done over 7,000 brain maps with and without that product. And, and trust me when I say you will sleep better with it if you can keep it on. At least one sock on your foot or the patch on your body is gonna be adequate enough in order to sleep and get better neurology while you're sleeping. And that leads us to the third technology, which is the REM patch. And this is for sleeping. So outside of opening up the front door to your brain and allowing more neurology in and out, we're actually able to go deeper and target the sleep centers of the brain to allow your deep sleep where your body does all the healing and your REM sleep where your brain does all the remodeling to be enhanced and get you a longer time period in those stages of sleep. And that's super important because 75% of all the new cells that are laid down in a one 24 hour period happen during deep and REM sleep. So it really is important that we get a good quality sleep. You don't just make up for lack of sleep. You're damaging your neurology when you don't get adequate sleep. So that was our third product. Our fourth product is called NeuroVax. And this is something to help us achieve physiological homeostasis, which that's a fancy word for saying your blood stays healthy. Okay. And so our immunology and our, and our, central nervous system have a very close relationship with one another. It's called our central nervous system responses and our nervous system or our immune system reflexes that uh, deal with invading pathogens and whatever it is that my health picture is requiring at that moment. And so what we see here is within an hour, most everybody's blood becomes functionally better. Now, what do I mean by that? We do live blood cell analysis along with the brain map simultaneously. And we can see the brain change first and then the blood follow. And so what we see is different things like rouleaus where the blood's all sticky and clumped together, open up clean. We see blood cells that have been damaged by free radicals. We see them be healed. We see blood cells that have been damaged by bacteria or different infections. And we see those start to heal quickly when we have this NeuroVax patch on. And so it's allowing our blood to reach homeostasis. Now homeostasis is that state where you are neutral and have the most reserve in either direction to adapt to your environment. So that could be in the temperature of your body. When it gets too cold, your temperature heats up to balance that. It could be the pH of our body or our blood pressure. It could be a lot of different things that are relating to homeostasis between all of our techs, so that's what we're trying to do is target and bring each part of our brain to homeostasis. So I originally thought the NeuroVax patch was gonna be one of those that was an immune system booster. At times that I was feeling a little bit under the weather or symptomatic, we put this on, our immune system starts responding faster and more efficiently, and then overcomes whatever the element is. But after studying so many people and seeing the live blood of including myself, I realized, hey, this is an immune system regulator, whether you're symptomatic or not. Our life is in the blood. And when our blood can stay healthier and more robust, we're gonna overcome conditions better. We're gonna utilize our vitamins better. We're gonna be able to utilize our food better, break it down and actually absorb it at the points that they're supposed to be absorbed. All of this relates to our neurology and our blood. So those are the top four products. And then our very last product that we have, I did mention we have five. And the last one is called the meta patch. And so this one is the one that's going to help our metabolism increase. So you're going to literally burn more calories throughout the day without affecting your heart rate and making you feel jittery or anxious. And so this is a way that we can literally continue to burn more fat and, and burn more calories throughout the day more efficiently and help us you know, with our metabolism, being able to digest things better and absorb them as well. So that's a quick overview of the five products that we have. Um, I didn't know if you wanted me to go into any more depth 
than what I just did, or we want to just get right to questions. Yeah, I think uh, that's a great overview, Dr. Mark, and gives people an understanding. And and uh, you know, our original product being our HPT product, which um, was developed originally uh, in an insole with uh, with Jay, and then uh, through R and D developed into socks, and then we now have other modalities like our knee brace and our shapewear uh, that are all delivery mechanisms um, for the technology. And so the patch was originally developed to help people in those southern states where it was hot and so on that uh, people didn't always wear socks uh, or shoes for that matter. And so the patch became um, a product that uh, was an alternative to wear to our original technology. And so the development of the, you know, other four products that we have are really a tremendous lineup, as we know. And so let's talk a little bit about um, the Neurovax because I absolutely love the Neurovax patch. It's my, it's my, it's my game changer. And uh, you know, we've talked about it before. You know, we we let's talk a little bit about Relot. Let's talk about a little bit about oxygenation with the blood and and why that's important. And Relot uh, as a as a um, uh, an experience of what happens when we're when we're subjected to EMF and certain things, high frequency things that we're doing with cell phones and and uh, computers. We're living in a world right now of of computers and cell phones. And let's talk a little bit about the Relo effect and the dark field images that you took with the the patch. And then I'm going to talk a little bit about somebody who asked a question about being a blood donor. Okay, so. You know, as we know, life is in the blood and our capillaries get down to like 200 times smaller than a piece of hair. So if you really understood cardiovascular health and our blood health and how life is in the blood, you would know that we have over 65,000 miles of blood vessels all wound up inside one human body which if you were to line it all up straight, it could wrap around the earth two and a half times. Now, why is that important? Well, in those micro vessels, those very tiny vessels, a lot of them get down to the size of just one simple red blood cell. One blood, red blood cell at a time squeezing through. Now, for those of you that don't know, your arteries and your veins only make up about 24% of your whole system. And 76% are these capillaries. So if they can be down as small as one blood cell thick, we want to make sure our blood's healthy enough to be able to swim independently each one of those blood cells and not get stuck together with a whole mass of other blood cells that get so big that it can't fit through these tiny vessels anymore. Well, why is that important? Well, inside a single red blood cell carries oxygen and nutrients for you. And that's the delivery system. So those red blood cells have to get to every tissue in your body in order to deliver the oxygen and the nutrients. And then not only that, it's pulling out the metabolic waste and the toxins that are in that tissue that may have ended up there to keep the tissue healthy. So as you replace that tissue with new cells, it's gonna be a better version of the current one you have. And so whenever we can find something to enhance blood flow, and to literally open up and let the blood function the way it's supposed to function. Now, we're not talking, you know, conditions and pathologies here. We're just talking physiology. So we're talking the function of your blood. And so when we can see something like an EMF exposure, we can draw your blood and it looks pretty healthy. You get on your phone for two minutes and then I draw your blood and it's going to be all stuck together like this rouleaux that I'm saying. So when it sticks together, not only can it not get into the smaller vessels, but if you can imagine the whole surface area of that blood cell is able to touch something else and deliver the oxygen to it. And so if they're all stuck together like a roll of lifesavers, the only surface area is the edge of those lifesavers or the edge of the candy, okay? Not the whole flat surface area where it can deliver a lot more. And so by opening up that blood, hey, guess what? The tissue gets more oxygen almost immediately because now each blood cell is delivering oxygen rather than all of them delivering a tiny bit because that's the only area that it can touch. 
And so, you know, I've said it so many times, life is in the blood. And so to have something that keeps the blood healthy and open and clear and functioning, you know, when Jay first shared this with me, you know, this was designed for people that were going to get a, choose to get a vaccine or chemotherapy. And it was a way of protecting the nervous system from the harmful side effects that come with those treatments. And now we realize just with the pandemic and everything going on around the world, we can never really afford to have any length of time where we're not protected, where we're not on red alert, where our system can't identify a virus or a pathogen or an invading toxin or chemical as soon as it enters us to realize, hey, that's not supposed to be here. Let's deposit it, wall it off, inflame the area and flush it out. That's a beautiful way that our body just gets rid of all these things. And so keeping something that keeps us at homeostasis, first of all, will prevent us from ever getting symptoms long enough to get the conditions. It just helps our body adapt faster and adapt to all the craziness that we're exposed to. And so the Neurovax definitely is one of those game changers in so many people's world because they've had hard, difficult times um, keeping that immune system strong. Sorry for the phone. No worries. So. Yeah, that's incredible. Um, we, we have a person here, Doc, that says um, she's a blood donor, uh, or I'm not sure what it's a she or he, because it doesn't say, uh, but they're a blood donor and they wear the Neurovax um, regularly. Uh, and it says, how long will my blood retain miracle status? Which I guess she means. Um, healthy, clean. Yeah, how long will this affect if they're donating blood? Well, you know, I don't really know quite how to answer that question. Your red blood cells last for about 90 days, typically. Um, and so the longer you can keep this on, I mean, it's not like you keep it on. It is like when you keep it on, you're going to maintain this homeostasis at a much higher level meaning it's gonna take a lot more environmental offsets to make your blood look bad again, okay? So one of the things, for instance, I talked about your cell phone and EMF and how just a couple minutes on your phone can really change the picture of your blood. Well, when we did these clinical studies, hey, guess what everybody was doing for the whole hour after I put the patch on? We would test their blood and their brain and then they go sit in the lobby for an hour and sit there on their phone and be working on their phone for an hour, come back in and their blood's still clean. So we know indirectly we figured out that this Neurovax is also protecting your blood from the harmful side effects of being bombarded from every direction of EMF, creating all this electric smog that we're living in. And that affects our cells in a very unhealthy way as, as well too. So we do know that the longer you keep any one of our technologies on yourself, the stronger that part of your brain becomes. So there are permanent changes involved with wearing this tech. However, does that mean you'll ever not need it? My brain's always evolving. I'm always gonna keep it because I always wanna be as smart as I can and mm -hmm. have the most responsive nervous system as healthy as I can stay, you know, 24 seven. So to me, certain things finally after vetting them and studying them and experiencing them and then seeing them on other people have enough merit to make it into my inner circle for life thing. And Vox, every yeah. one of these products definitely stands alone in and of itself, but they've all made it into that inner circle because there's just nothing like it on the market that can really clean the nervous system, have such an impact with literally no side effects. And that's the biggest thing I wanna put out there is when you're not using electricity, or chemicals, and it's just tactile, there's no side effect except side benefits. And if you don't like the side benefits you're getting, just take it off, right? We should be able to live naturally and healthy without any input whatsoever. But hey, guess what? We still have to eat healthy because if we're putting garbage in, we're gonna end up looking like garbage and feeling like garbage. And so when we find the things like certain vitamins and nutrients that guarantee the supply that my body needs to build that next healthy cell, well, we still need that on a daily basis so that I can thrive and be like myself. So I look at Vox like my life insurance. 
This is something that guarantees I'm going to have a good life. As long as I'm keeping it on, I'm going to experience more life and a better quality of life. And then it's just up to me to avoid toxins and make sure I'm getting good calories and make sure I'm exercising and sleeping right and doing all the lifestyle things. But, but this truly is a way of looking at it is this is my life insurance. And this is one of the most important things because it's giving me living benefits. <laughs> it's not just term insurance, right? It's, it's mm -hmm. letting that term, that expiration date be further on down the road. It's going to let my quality of life between now and then really thrive and be the best that it can be. And I've never seen any other product, even the chemicals and the drugs and the electricity that's gonna elicit this type of response that's truly getting into the core and the root of your issues because it's unraveling the nervous system. The nervous system is in charge of all of that. Now, when I do brain maps on people that suffer from anxiety and they take chemicals that their doctor gives them to deal with anxiety, they tell me that they don't feel like they have anxiety anymore because they take these chemicals. But guess what? When I brain map them, their brain looks like they have textbook anxiety. So the chemicals don't make the problem go away. They just make you not experience the problem symptom wise. But the, the brain's still like brain on fire under, underneath the hood. So to find something that isn't masking a symptom just to make me feel good, but then I'm going to burn out faster anyway, it's finding something that's literally getting into the root cause of the, of the anxiety or stress in that scenario. If that was the thing that you were dealing with, that's what the nerve after the front door going into the brainstem, it's gonna go right to the area that's of most concern for you. Now the tech doesn't know how to do that. It's just giving your own neurology a better ability to express itself. And the first thing it wants to do, <laughs> go fix the thing that's the worst. And that's just innate, okay? And it doesn't judge us for how hard we've been on our body the last few days and decide not to heal me today because I ate junk yesterday. No, it's going to be like, okay, time to dumpster dive again and jump into that dumpster and find some piece of good out of all the junk you gave. It's going to do whatever it has to do to keep you thriving and alive. Why make it so hard on your body? Why make it so confusing? Put the tech on that's going to unravel the, the, the neurology that's confusing things for you. And it's going to help everything function and flow better. So I can give a million analogies of why we'd want to have something like this on our bodies. But really, until you experience it for yourself and keep it on long enough to make that decision, you sure. know, don't just wear it on Tuesdays and Thursdays when you're playing soccer, wear it every day, 24 seven for at least a month, and then try taking it off for a couple of days and just see how sharp and how fast your neurology is compared to how it's been. You're definitely gonna notice a difference. And I don't ever like taking it off. I only have to take it off when I'm testing another product that I have to come in clean and just see how this one does alone, you know, in and of itself. And, and that's only been five times now in the last <laughs> almost four years we're going on, so. Well, uh, we've seen some incredible things, as you know, with brain mapping and so on. And, and I think that, uh, you know, as a wearer of Neurovax, if you're a blood donor, it's pretty safe to say that your quality of blood that you're donating, uh, wearing the Neurovax patch 24 seven is certainly gonna be better than the, the quality possibly of your blood that if you didn't wear it, would that be fair to say? Yeah, that would definitely be fair to say. And then also people that take, you know, certain hormone replacement therapy and stuff, sometimes, they end up producing way too many red blood cells and it gets so packed in there that they're not functioning as well too. So they go and donate to kind of, you know, thin, <laughs> thin their blood out a little bit because they're producing so much of it. So we see people that have those circumstances also tend to balance out naturally and then not have these high levels of blood cells that uh, that would require them to actually go donate to help keep them healthy. Yeah, great. Um, okay, well, let's move along to um, our REM patch, which uh, we know that, uh, you know, there are uh, literally uh, millions of people that, that you know, suffer with, uh, with sleep issues or have trouble uh, sleeping and have trouble um, hitting that uh, quality of sleep that we all need to, to heal. And so, one of the, um, you know, one of the questions that we have uh, from the field on here is, um, is it says uh, the REM patch, how long is it effective for and why is it good for 24 hours if you only wear it 
for one night? Well, I guess because Jay didn't figure out how to make a nine or a 10 hour patch, <laughs> you know, what it all boils down to. So um, the patch is designed to really help your sleep centers of the brain. So it's not going to make you tired if you forget to take it off and you're wearing it throughout the day. You're just not using those sleep centers. And so it's not really going to make a difference uh, of how your day goes if you keep it on during the day. Um, so they are designed to be used as needed, which means just for sleep. Uh, it will take 30 minutes now for this patch to kick in after you do put it on. And it's not gonna necessarily make you tired. It's just helping the whole natural process of light sleep to deep sleep to REM sleep. And then you're gonna cycle through those cycles of sleep multiple times throughout the night. It's not like you just fall asleep and I'm gonna get my hour and a half of deep right out of the gate and then you know in a row and then get my REM sleep and then the rest of the night is light. You're just literally cycling through them. Now, yes, the majority of your deep sleep will, will be achieved in those first three hours of sleep because that's when your body's doing the remodeling and the healing. And then the REM sleep, the majority of that will be sometime in the middle of your night. And then the end of the sleep, well, once you get enough REM, then you're just staying in light sleep for the rest of the night. And so technically, if you were like a professional sleeper <laughs> and you could just jump right to deep and REM sleep, you could just sleep four hours a night and that would be plenty. Okay, that, that's about, you need about three hours combined between deep and REM to successfully remodel your body. And then about an hour of light sleep. And so that's like memories and emotions and so forth. But the average person in the entire world, it takes seven hours in order to get that amount of deep and REM sleep. And so you're gonna get uh, you know, anywhere from one to three hours combined of those two, and then the rest, you know, anywhere from six to four hours of light sleep throughout the night. Now, deep sleep, as I mentioned, is when your body is repairing and laying down tissues quickly and fast. And so that's the hardest one to get into. This is when your body is just like completely non-responsive. Somebody's shaking you to wake up or yelling your name and you're just not waking up. That's because you're shut down all the conscious stuff and you're in a deep body remodeling mode. Now, past that is the REM sleep. And so if the deep sleep's all about the body, the REM sleep is all about the brain. So the brain has to go in and prune all the bushes. Every little thing that you saw and heard, there's gonna be a memory of that in your permanent data record. <laughs> but for the short-term memory, it needs to prune the bushes and we don't need to remember all of those things that weren't necessary. And so that's when your brain's remodeling itself. And, and so the REM patch is really targeting the two centers of the brain that deal with both deep and REM sleep. And that's what we people are seeing the majority of. In fact, um, we have saw so many people go from an average of 40 minutes, including myself, between 40 minutes and an hour to over two hours of deep sleep. So they've been able to double the deep sleep by wearing the patch. And then the REM sleep, uh, I think the average went from somewhere around an hour to an hour and 20 minutes. So I think a little, about 15 minutes more of REM on average, and then about an hour plus of deep sleep. So as Terry mentioned in the beginning that sleep over 53% of the world suffers every single night trying to get asleep, trying to get a good night's sleep. And so that's not good because if you're not sleeping good, you're not feeling good. If you're not feeling good, you're not looking good. And if you're not looking and feeling good, how much good could you go do that day? right? And so it's important that we look good, we feel good, and we do good. And so the, the technology is just helping us get a much more restful night's sleep so that we can do exactly that. And it really is amazing. And, and, and we've waited a long time for that product to be re released because my whole career of 27 years, I've had so many patients that we have been trying to crack the sleep code <laughs> and what is it that's going to help us actually get a good night's sleep and not wake up so droggy and end up having to take chemicals and things that could interfere with our with our health you know and so we want to be able to do things naturally as much as possible 
And if not, then there's a time and a place for all of that. But, uh, you know, we're here to teach people the good news that there are ways of doing things naturally without having to be A, as expensive and E, you know, side effects down the road. Yes, great. Um, Dr. Mark, with your professional opinion, I know the REM patch uh, works specifically for the, the sleep, sleep center of the brain. Um, but, but with the REM patch, would you, would you say that getting better sleep, that that would help also with anxiety? Um, you know, indirectly, absolutely. There's no reason it wouldn't. Mm -hmm. um, most people are suffering from anxiety or depression as a secondary or tertiary thing to what's really going on in their life. And so, as I mentioned earlier, you know, when you don't sleep, it's not like you can just pull an all nighter and keep working all night and then make up for sleep on the weekends. Your brain doesn't like that. It doesn't work mm -hmm. that way. And so it deteriorates you and it definitely catches up to you and it affects your performance. And for those of you that are in a job that your performance is being measured, they'll guarantee that they're going to be able to tell if you've been sleeping well or not sleeping well. And, you know, just how alert and sharp and focused you are. So in a performance aspect, you know, it's critical that you use all the tech we have because each one of those techs help you perform better in different ways and, and forms. Right. So um, we have a question here about the, uh, the knee brace, which we've had great, great success with, uh, with the knee brace, not only um, giving us the value of HPT that's embedded into the knee brace itself, but also the uh, support that it gives uh, the knee as well. Um, okay to wear the knee brace 24 seven doc? Absolutely. 100%. You know, your, your knee, the, the skin on your knee might start to get aggravated. I don't necessarily think I'd wear it at night um, unless of course, you know, you don't like wearing socks. I think mm -hmm. the sock would be, um, I think the sock would be a little bit easier to wear than the knee brace while you're sleeping. Yeah. Again, that's, that's just for comfort. Right. Um, now storage of patches. When, when people get patches, is there any certain temperature that uh, we should be aware of uh, for storing patches per se? Um, well, you know, I would say it, it doesn't matter initially. Um, well, you know, I would probably take that back. That's the first time I've been asked that question. Mm -hmm. um, as long as it's below a 98.6 degrees, I think you're fine. I don't think you need to stick it in the fridge by any means. Um, but once the uh, heat is on your body and it starts to activate, then it, it will slowly start to denature over time. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I think if you had kept it in your car, and it got super hot, when you put that on your body, I don't know if it would last 48 hours because the glue might already be denatured a little bit and sure. just not stay on. So um, just be mindful of that. I think, uh, you know, just as long as it's not stored someplace too, too hot, I think it should be fine. Yeah, I think if we take the same sort of thought process as we do with Band-Aids, uh, as far as storage is concerned, it's, it's the same same sort of thing would be would be my, uh, my suggestion for sure. Um, one of the other things that uh, we've talked about, we've talked about the REM, we've talked about the HPT, we've talked about the, the Neurovax patch, and uh, let's talk a little bit about the Meta patch and what you're seeing, and, and uh, let's talk about what, uh, what the Meta patch uh, is doing and is designed to do as far as, um, as, far as our technology is concerned. So again, we're waiting still on technology that Jay bought last year to do some more in-depth studies with the MetaPatch. And this is going to be some kind of um, oxygen mask that is going to be worn for 20 minutes. That's going to measure carbon dioxide and oxygen levels and output and it's going to be able to measure your metabolism like exactly how many calories you're burning and so other than the fact that it's targeting the parts of your brain that deal with your gut and with um, your metabolism um, i don't have any more experience with that i i don't do a weight loss in my practice so it's not um 
it's not one of the products that that I have a whole lot of experience with, other than people trying to lose weight, and um, it's just helping them with that process as far as burning more calories without making their heart rate go. So that's a lot of times people will try different products that are supposed to help them burn more calories, but it makes them really jittery and on edge throughout the day. And so it's whatever the artificial sugars or caffeine or whatever else is in those products, um, it's not favorable. And so you don't want to do it for an extended period of time. I know that all of our products are 100% safe. There's no contraindications to them other than it's just trying to stir up some healing somewhere in your body that you might not understand what that feels like. <laughs> so the good news is you can just take it off and the feeling will stop immediately. And if it is something that was supposed to be happening for your health, each time you put it on, typically it's gonna be a little bit longer until you experience whatever that was. And eventually your body will work through it and then you won't experience that. So I've had that as, as far as, maybe pain in somebody's body where they didn't have pain they put it on and then all of a sudden an old injury from like 15 years ago started to ache them again mm -hmm. and they're like, why is this thing causing me pain and well it's not you've adapted around that injury it identified a weakness there so give it a couple of days and so sure enough each time they put the patch on it was you know half an hour hours longer and before they felt the discomfort and then I think it was day five or six or something like that, that the pain never actually came back again. And they were able to keep the tech on all the time. So they probably could have kept it on all the time day one. And by 48 hours, the pain would have been gone, but they didn't like feeling the discomfort. So they just wore it until they felt it and then took it off and then would wear it till they felt it. And eventually they could wear it on going. So, mm -hmm. um, you know, it's just helping your neurology work better. Perfect. Now we've, we've, um, we know that this is a medical grade adhesive on uh, all our products and we know that not everybody uh, reacts um, in, in a favorable way at times. Um, maybe we talk a little bit, we've heard uh, and we've seen some people get a rash temporarily some cases and some people seem to, to get it more often and it seems to be a little bit geared more towards the meta patch. And I don't know whether that's just because the meta patch is larger uh, and covers more surface area. Um, but let's talk a little bit about skin sensitivity with our medical grade uh, adhesive and what your thoughts are around that. Well, you know, unfortunately, there's never going to be a product that 100% of the people um, don't react to. You mm -hmm. know, so I will say that for those of you that have been around for a little while, we are now on our third or fourth rendition of the patch. And in each rendition that they've come out with, uh, a big part of that was because it's a better quality uh, adhesive that we've been able to find that is more hypoallergenic and supposed to have less people respond to it. And so with that, I noticed that's for surely true because we would have several more people with the first patch that actually had the piece of foam inside that was cut out. Mm -hmm. uh, the borders of that one had to be a much stronger adhesive because the whole thing wasn't an adhesive. It was just the borders. And so I think we had the most reactions for skin uh, with that product. And then as soon as we switched to be able to imprint the, the design into the plastic itself and have the adhesive on the whole thing, we were able to use one that um, wasn't as aggressive and it was, was more um, environmentally friendly or, or, or safe, I suppose, hypoallergenic. Mm -hmm. um, and then as, as time continues to go on and we're, we are producing these in the U.S., which is a great thing, um, we're able to continue to find a better, better product. So I think eventually we just need to be able to grow our business big enough to be able to afford to get maybe socks or sleeves or other product, other garments that have all of our tech in it rather than just the HPT, okay? And so that's just, a, that's just a financial thing. And so we need to grow the business and help more people. And as that happens, we will produce more products and clothing lines and things that can deliver all the products in one. You know, that'll be ideal down the road. But for now, we have the patches because that is, uh, a very easy and effective way to keep it on you 24 seven. 
Mm-hmm. And, and that really is what's most necessary. Now, I will say on a side note that those patches cost Vox more than any other product that Vox makes. <laughs> and so to still be able to give them to you for $2 a day uh, is truly an amazing gift because that production of that product definitely costs more than all the other products that we have to make to give to somebody. So we wanna to try to keep these, the price down to less than a cup of coffee uh, per day. And, and they're doing a really great job at doing that. Yes, they sure have, most definitely. Now we talk about our HPT or our human performance technology being our uh, gateway product, the gateway to the brain. Let's, uh, one of the questions here is, should you always use HPT with the other technologies that we have? So as I mentioned earlier, um, each product can definitely stand alone on its own. If it's a new person and they're not quite understanding wearable tech and they might have an issue with putting more than one thing on their body at the same time, they will definitely still get results with every single product in and of itself. However, with that being said, we all know that if you open up the front door, it's easier to get things in and out of the house. So I like the analogy of you're going to a concert, you're in the parking lot, there's a whole ton of people trying to get into the building and you're looking at the side of this huge building and there's at least 30 doors that you can see, but let's say five of them are open. So the line, it's only five wide. And it's going really slow because there's literally thousands of people trying to get into the building. Mm -hmm. Now, if all of a sudden five doors being open turns into all 30 doors being open with an usher in each door, well, that line that was a long, thick line turns into a crowd running towards every open door. Mm -hmm. And now all of a sudden those thousands of people get in and out faster, easier, more efficiently especially if the concert already started and and there's still only five doors open, people start getting antsy, like we're missing it, we're missing it. Well, think of your own neurology. It's got a job to do and it's waiting in line to get into your brain because the brainstem is only letting a little bit in. Now, all of a sudden you put the harmony patch on, all 30 doors open. Do you realize that wherever you're going in the brain, it's easier to get there now? And wherever the brain's trying to send a message back to the body, it's easier to get there now. So wouldn't it then make sense that I would always put HPT on first before any of the other products because it'll make that product work better, faster, and longer. Okay, just get more of the job done because you're opening up that front door. So by all means, HPT first, and then whatever other product you're trying to use add that on top of it because you're going to get the results faster and you're going to have better results in the long run because the HPT is opening up the front door and then the rest of the neurology is just going to wherever you need it. Well, if wherever you need it is one of the areas that the other tech covers, you're only going to need it there for a minute because as soon as the other tech comes in and takes over that zone, HPT now is going to go find another room to clean. It's going to go find another area to balance. It's gonna be able to have more of an overall effect on your body's neurology than just the one product by itself. Great, perfect. Now, our patches are incredible. We talked about uh, on all of our patches on the back, it will give you, um, sorry, it'll give you um, an activation spot that uh, we suggest to wear, whether it's the Harmony patch, whether it's our sleep patch, there'll be a diagram on there that talks about, so this is kind of a two-part question um, that, you know, if, if um, once they're worn in the activation spot or the suggested activation spot um, based on the packaging, um, do they have to continue to wear it in that position or can they wear it in other parts of their body after they've originally worn it? And the second part to that, Dr. Mark is, Let's say they stopped wearing the product for a period of time for whatever reason. Should they go back to the original activation spot again or can they continue to wear it in different parts? Okay, thanks. So um, the first part of that question is wearing a patch. Initially, it is 
very, very important that you put it on the part of your body that the packaging illustrates. And the reason for that is remember initially we talked about these codes or these signals being actionable signals, which means it needs to be something that the brain deems important to stop and then look at it deeper and take it apart. So initially you always want to put that patch on the proper place for 24 hours. And what that's going to do is it's going to help your neurology learn what that is. Once you've accomplished that, you can literally put those patches anywhere on your body forever. Okay. And if you stop doing it for a year and start doing it again, your body will still recognize it as that was that important thing you put on me a year ago. Okay. So think of it this way. If you held your hand out and closed your eyes and I drew the number three on your hand, well, you'd tell me if that's a three. Now you might say it's an M or a W depending on how you're perceiving the touch, but let's just all agree you said that was a three. Well, you learned three when you were about three years old, right? And so you don't need to relearn that that's a pattern that means a number that's after two and before four, your neurology will always remember three is three, okay? And so once you've learned it and it becomes second nature to your neurology, I could turn around and draw a three on your back and you'd be like, oh, there's a three again. I could do it on your arm. They, oh, there's a three again. Why do you keep putting three on my body? So it's going to recognize it anywhere. And just like riding a bike, you could not ride a bike for years and hop on it. And you're going to find that balance and just go for it. So it is not necessary. Will it harm you by putting it back in the right spot? By all means, no, you can put it anywhere on your body. So um, I personally, for the Neurovax, I always put it on the back of my arm back here because I, I don't feel that it's there. And it remains invisible to me. And I don't feel it when I'm moving my arm around. Um, and so I like having the patches in areas of my body that I'm not reminded that there's something there touching me when I'm moving and, and, and doing. But literally, you just have to learn it once. And that's all you ever really have to do in the right spot. Well, that's wonderful to know that, you know, you, you, for whatever reason, and I don't know why you would go off, but if you ever did go off and came back a year later uh, or six months later or three months later or whatever, that your brain is so intelligent that it recognizes and elicits that uh, response no matter uh, where it's worn on the body. So last question for the day, because we're coming to uh, our time here, um, is we're looking at, um, you know, we've seen a lot of experiences with people where they've uh, experienced pain relief and we've seen different timelines of certain uh, symptoms being, and we don't claim to treat, diagnose, or cure anything. But the question here is what happens when someone experiences pain, pain relief? Where does the pain go? Uh, does it go away? Does the brain process it differently? Or is it still there, but you just don't feel it based on the brain's ability to, to deal with it? Kind of a three-part question, I guess. Um, well, I guess I guess the easy way to understand that is two things. Number one, we experience life through our nervous system, hands down. Okay, now some people have experienced a better quality of life than other people. Well, it's all just an expression of our nervous system. Now, when people have pain. It's usually not something that um, happens immediately unless you had a trauma. Mm -hmm. okay? uh, it usually is a dysfunction. So it's lack of structure or function first to the nervous system. And then that leads into a condition. We call it pain or we call it inflammation or we call it what have you. But I will say that the actual feeling and sensation of pain is the very last thing that comes in the condition. And it's always the first thing that leaves in the condition before the pain is stable and it's no longer going to be a pain thing. And so you can have a dysfunctional joint 
compromising a nerve for years before it finally starts hurting. <laughs> but the pain came in at the very end as the symptom. And then people start treating the symptom and the pain goes away a little bit. But the dysfunctional problem is still there until it's so bad that whatever you're doing to take the pain away doesn't work anymore. And then you end up in surgery. So it's not like it's just, I'm turning it off in my brain. It's healing the nervous system to an extent that it's calmed it down below the radar where you're feeling it. Does it mean that there's no, nothing under the surface? The iceberg still isn't living under the surface? No, it's still there. It's just gonna take more time before it's completely gone. And so that's a beautiful thing that people can put a patch on and the pain goes away. The dysfunction is still there, but the body's trying to heal it to the extent that it just took it below the warning sign because it's healing it quickly now. We just put extra workers on the job to deal with and heal that issue. Does that help? Because, because pain is such a, it's such a wide variety of what causes pain in somebody's body. But, you know, your body will try to do as much as it can with you not feeling pain. And then eventually it has to let you know, okay, you got to stop. <laughs> I'm giving you this pain to stop and, and do something to fix the problem. But I will say on the, same to on the same token that we just completed a three-year study of tracking people that have had all variety of symptoms for three years. And the longer you wear the tech, the stronger your nervous system gets and the more balanced it becomes over time. And so certainly if it can heal your pain in the first day you put it on, wear it long enough and it's gonna get more to the root cause of that pain and heal it deeper each and every day. You know, eventually they'll take that patch off and not feel any pain again. Well, I love the fact that our technology is so amazing um, from the perspective of what it elicits. Uh, it's really our bodies that are, you know, fearfully and wonderfully made. And, you know, that the brain, um, it sort of quantifies and it um, sort of decides what it's gonna go after and sees that it needs attention to um, more so than what you may have bought product for. And so um, that was always an interesting thing that you said to me is that it self-regulates the brain. You put it into the homeostasis or get the neurology and central nervous system into the homeostasis um, scenario, then uh, the brain uh, self-regulates and decides that, hey, uh, I see an issue over here that needs attention before we're gonna maybe look at sciatica if that's what you bought it for. Yeah. And we see okay. results where, you know, some people, if you look in the testimonials group, they had relief from sciatica because they didn't have maybe a lot of other things going on uh, and they had relief. That from was the worst thing going on for them. So mm -hmm. the nervous system is always gonna go after your worst issue first. It might not be what you think is the worst issue, yeah, because there might be another crisis under the under the surface there that is far more imperative, like cancer or heart disease or toxic infections. You know, it could be a lot of different things that you're not quite aware of. Sure, just it, it just it's so it's so clear to me that your brain is a lot different than your mind. <laughs> what you you know what I mean as far yeah. as what you're thinking you want it for and what the brain tells you it, it's going to do are two different things. So um, on that note. Uh, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Mark, on behalf of the field. It's, these calls are just so wonderful, and people absolutely rave about them. And it certainly um, uh, is an integral part of our, our venture, our journey, our learning. Uh, as associates, we, we, um, we, we want to speak your language. And so the only way to be able to do that is to continue these calls, to watch the recordings, and to um, and to continue to learn. I mean, it's it's about a about a journey for sure. So, on behalf of everybody, thank you so much for your time today. Oh, you're welcome. Bye, everybody. Have an amazing thank you, everybody. day. Have a great day. Um, just a reminder, uh, Dr. Mark will be back, God willing, in in two weeks. Um, same uh, same time, uh, 2 p.m. Eastern, uh, barring any changes. Uh, I hope to see everybody on. Uh, that are associates with your teammates on our training call tonight with the wonderful Brenna Bovere um, from Red Deer, Alberta, um, who's going to train us on your mirror moments and getting rid of your financial blockers. 
And so she's just a little dynamo and I think you'll really enjoy her training. So it's listed in our announcements tab uh, for training. And then mark that date again, March 20th, we have our first ever virtual opportunity event. And uh, uh, maybe if I do a little sweet talk, we have Dr. Mark talk a little bit on our uh, opportunity event. March 20th. So once again, thanks everybody for being here and we'll look forward to seeing you again soon and uh, Vox on. Let's go. Bye for now. Bye everybody. Bye everybody.